Welcome to Awesome Time. This is where I show you everything new on VAT19. And make sure you stick around because we're debuting a new segment called Stupid Science. This is episode 110, and as always, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're notified when every new video comes out. And also, subscribe to our email newsletter. That's how you get a coupon off your next order. Let's get started. Okay, I'm excited about this first product. These are called Scrabble Lights, and it's a set of 10 illuminated tiles. You can change what it says on there using the included removable sticker sheets here. So I'm gonna change change this up real quick. I'm gonna go for the for the high score. So I'm definitely gonna need to use a Z in here somewhere. All right, check out my 10 letter word. I totally didn't use a dictionary at all. 10, 11, 14, 26, 27, 28, 30 points. Drop this on a triple word score. We're at like 90. That's probably a, a Scrabble uh, record or something. Anyway, these are the Scrabble lights. Tons of fun. Remember this? I do. As someone in their late 20s to early to mid to late 30s, I grew up with Pac-Man, and for those of you who also love Pac-Man, you're gonna love this. It's the Pac-Man Ghost Lamp. This is a really cool, officially licensed Pac-Man lamp. Okay, here he is lit up, and with the included remote, I can just instantly switch between different colors. There's also different effects. If you're seeing a strobing effect on your screen right now, that's just how our cameras handle LEDs. It's perfectly smooth in, in real life, I promise. You can fade through all the different colors. You can get a strobe thing going. You can go just white. Tons of fun. Put this in your office, next to your bed, whatever. This is the Pac-Man Ghost Lamp. I love this little guy. New style alert. We've got neon yellow and neon pink versions of hickeys. And these are one of my favorite products because you never have to tie your shoes again. See, I wear them every day. All right, those are new styles of hickeys. Oh, oh, oh. This Sado Han Solo ice tray. <laughs> I love Star Trek. This is the Han Solo ice cube tray. We've actually got chocolate in here. Look at that. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna eat me some Harrison Ford. Oh, cold. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's the Han Solo ice cube tray, or chocolate tray, or jello tray. The current world record for solving the Rubik's cube is somewhere around four seconds. The world record for solving the V-Cube 7 is like two minutes and 39 seconds. This is a seven by seven cube as opposed to a three by three Rubik's Cube. It has 19,501 sexvagintillion combinations. I don't really know how to pronounce that word, but you know, I'm feeling smart today. We're gonna put two minutes and 39 seconds on the clock and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to solve this thing. Here we go. I'm gonna try to just do the corners, maybe? I've heard people on the YouTube say that. Maybe if I get all yellow on one, one corner. I'm getting a bunch of black on one side here. Whenever these guys are solving the Rubik's Cube, you never think they're very close. You know, it all looks all like jumbled up. And then they're sort of, they sort of do like one move and it's all there. That's what I'm hoping is gonna happen here. Ah. I got kind of a lot of yellow on this side. Really working on it. It twists really well. Five seconds to beat the world record. Wait, last turn and it'll all be solved, I promise. Last turn, it'll all be solved. Shoot. That kind of looks like sort of like a question mark there in the black, not bad. I exhausted a few of the combos, so I guess I only have 19,490 sex vigintillion combos to keep working on. If you like hard puzzles, this is definitely for you. This is super difficult. That's the V-Cube 7. For this next product, my table got an upgrade. This is the Da Vinci Catapult. For clarity's sake, I'm talking about Leo Da Vinci, you know, from the Da Vinci Code movies. Badoonch. All right, here's the ammo for this catapult. Spitballs. Let's just fire one and then we'll talk about it. The kit comes with everything you need to build this, even the glue. Actually, all you need is a ruler and like uh, a snack. This is actually based off of Da Vinci's designs, which uses um, bent wood here to get the power going. The other awesome thing about this Da Vinci catapult kit is that it is the inaugural product for our new segment, Stupid Science. Stupid Science.
All right, this is my lab partner, Eric. We're doing some stupid science today. <laughs> all, right. all science has to start with a hypothesis. Mm -hmm. And a hypothesis is a question that can be uh, tested. I got a bowl of raisinets, and I got a bowl of bugs. Oh, <laughs> My hypothesis they is- They look that, the same. Yeah, is that if I put these bugs <laughs> into the catapult and fling them towards you, Ugh. you kind of won't be able to tell the difference and you'll try to catch out of there and eat it no matter what. I think from like no. 10 feet away, you won't be able to tell which is which, and you'll <laughs> right. so badly want the raisinette that you might eat a bug. Okay. That's the hypothesis. We'll see. We'll see, Jamie. <laughs> Close your eyes. I'm loading her up. All right. Open your eyes. Right. Bob's away. Oh, man, it's a line drive shot. Here we go. One, two, three. Ow. Is that a bug? <laughs> I'm not telling. What we've learned so far is that he attempts to eat all of them. Here we go, yeah. Eric. Oh, oh, I was at it. I was a raising that too and I missed it. I'm starting to kind of think my hypothesis is confirmed here. He's going after all of them. I gotta get something in my mouth. Oh, no, it's a bug. <laughs> he went for it, though. That looks just like a raisinette. You would think when the odds are you could get a bug, you just wouldn't play the game. He wants I'm hungry, a, Jay. wants that raisinette so badly. Oh. What? <laughs> I forgot about bugs all over the studio. <laughs> This is so stupid. <laughs> a fake out. This is a fake out. Okay, I think stupid science went pretty well. Uh, I think my hypothesis was confirmed. I'm sad I didn't get more to eat. Here's some bugs. Oh, they smell so good. Okay. <laughs> All right, that was uh, stupid science. This is the Pico bottle opener. You know how much we love bottle openers in Bat 19. I couldn't pass this one up because it's so tiny. It's the world's smallest bottle opener and it's made out of titanium. It's so lightweight that you barely even know that you've got this thing on your key ring. Let me demo how this thing works. The key is the key ring and uh, you just place your thumb on the opposite side here and then just pull up. <laughs> Normally it wouldn't fly away like that. Uh, there you go. That's the Pico bottle opener. We're elevated, you know what that means. We got a table product. This is Circuit Maze, and it's from the folks that also invented Gravity Maze and Laser Maze. This is an awesome logic puzzle game that deals with electricity and building circuits. Because I was so successful with the V-Cube 7, we're gonna try solving one of the easiest puzzles in Circuit Maze here and see if I can do it in under one minute. You get these 60 different cards and you've got um, beginner, up to advance, so I'm gonna grab, grabbing the beginner puzzle, sort of a hard beginner puzzle. I'm covering up the back because the solution is written on the back, but this is what one of the puzzle cards looks like. And what it does is it tells you how to set up your board and then the other pieces that you need to add in order to complete the circuit. All right, so I've got my board set up according to the card and I've got the pieces that I need to add to the grid in order to complete the circuit. Can I have roughly 60 seconds on the clock? Let's see, gotta get it, gotta get it. This can't be right. Dang it! That's, that, that's, wait, I got it! I'm pretty sure, no? The green one's lit up. The other ones aren't lit up though. I must have done something wrong. Oh, I did get it right. Yeah, only the green one had to be lit up. That's what I've got. All right. Circuit Maze is a ton of fun, awesome puzzle logic game. Check it out. Get yours now at bat19.com. Why should you follow us on social media? One word, free stuff. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Every Friday, we do giveaways. Follow us. All right, next table product. This is Nessie, the tea infuser. Love this guy. It looks like the, the Loch Ness Monster. Let's make some tea, right? I just happen to have some loose leaf tea here. Also available at Vat19. I'll load her up. All right, let's drop Nessie in. I'll let that steep for a minute or two. Well, while I'm waiting for Nessie to steep here, I thought I'd take a quick photo for my Instagram. Okay, wait. Hey, that turned out pretty good. You guys wanna see? Yeah. Okay, cool, I think my tea's ready. Mmm, ooh, that smells good. That's some good tea. All right, that's the Nessie tea infuser. All right, next up, microphone erasers. This is a three pack of some pretty cool erasers that look like microphones. You got like the news one, you know, breaking news. Turns out Eric will eat anything if he thinks it's a raisinette. You got the old timey microphone, you know, from like the radio, you know, who's on first? Exactly, what's on second? You get the idea. Uh, then you got like the rock star microphone, you know, like, yeah! 
rock stars sound like animals dying, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Dolphin being sacrificed. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. <laughs> All right, there we go. Whew, it's been such a long episode. I got hungry and I ordered some takeout from uh, Burger Lord. Ooh, exactly what I wanted. A gummy cheeseburger and a gummy hot dog. We got this beautiful hot dog. Beautiful. Here's the burger. Pickle, lettuce, tomato, cheese. I'm gonna take a huge bite of this thing. Mmm. Oh, that's good. You got a variety of flavors in these things. You got cherry, orange, lemon, and green apple. And you've got cherry, orange, and lemon in a hot dog. Gummy fast food. Available now. Vat 19. All right, it's time for fan art. I made it, you made it, it was a journey together. It's time to wrap this thing up. As always, check out the new videos, okay? They're awesome, we had a ton of fun making them, and don't forget to subscribe to us on social media. We do giveaways every Friday, and as always, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and we'll see you next time. That 19.